Welcome to my tech channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of the work I've been doing with uh, induction heaters. And I wanted to just take that to a different, step, uh, different level and get rid of the center tap on this work coil. The problem with having a center tap is it's hard to design different coil configurations, try different thickness of, thicknesses of wire without a lot of effort um, to make those. So what I did is basically um, what's known, what's out there, Here's a circuit by, by uh, Marco that shows the basic setup for this type of circuit. I've made some modifications, just used different values of things, and here's what I came up with. You can uh, pretty much put up to 30 volts into this thing. Uh, today we'll be watching it working at uh, 19 volts. So I got like a bridge rectifier setup, 12 volt AC transformer. That drives the gate, so we don't overvolt the gate on these on these IRFB 250s, and I reduced the resistances on the gates to 100 ohms. It seemed to work better for whatever reason. There's the voltage regulator, which is an LM7812. Um, the work core does not have a center tap because of these two separate um, toroids. Each one of these is one millihenry, and they're ferrite toroids. I'm using like 16 gauge wire on them, and it doesn't, it doesn't even seem to get hot, that wire. And I've uh, got a capacitor bank, total of one point for one microfarads, they're Panasonic's 250 volt, they're, they're great capacitors. Um, using these um, um, shocky diodes, these are like rated for 150 volts. And uh, the 12 volt ones I was using before did not seem to hold up too well. And then I'm, here's the 100 ohm, these are wire round resistors. And uh, here's my voltage regulator for the gates. And it's the basic setup right here, and the circuit diagram. Let's see if you can see that clearly. Um, I think I've got the whole thing on here. That's circuit diagram, which is the basic thing, and a uh, capacitor bank is right here. My 10-turn work coil, which is 12-gauge wire, is right here. here. Here it is. So we'll do some experiments with that. All right, let's get this thing fired up. Fly on. There's, a new, there's the uh, LED indicating that it's on. I'm going to... Um, connect up the circuit, get the work core going. There we go, and I'm going to try the screwdriver. I know this thing is going to overheat those MOSFETs. Anyway, let's see how it goes. It's getting pretty hot. It's just starting to blow right now. That didn't take just a few seconds to get that really hot. So there you go. The coil really isn't that hot. It's a bit hot. I mean, it's probably too hot to touch, but it's not really like it's going to burn your fingers or anything. So that's not bad. Um, and let's try these. These are these are not these are not even even warm. So. Doesn't seem like the gauge of the wire affects them that much. I'm going to try a thinner workpiece, and there it goes, really fast. Ouch, that's really hot. So thinner pieces of metal. I'm going to replace this 10-turn coil with a 5-turn coil and see what effect that has. Five turns here, and that actually heats it, heats it just as quick as the 10-turn coil, if not quicker. Okay, now I'm using much thicker wire here. Let's see what this does. This in theory should be able to handle a whole lot more current. It's getting really hot. The thickness of this wire is really not very hot. I can touch it very easily right after it's been used. So it just shows you the skin effect. A lot bigger skin on a thicker piece of copper wire, so that's easy to hold. Okay, right the next one I've connected the stove the stove top setup. I've just got a sort of a wire cord in a disc like that, and I'm going to put some paper to insulate the wire. Then I've got like a, a lid off a jar and just some cold water in it, and I'm going to put that on top and see if I can heat up this water. So here goes. Okay, let's see how this heats the water up. Had a bit, bit of trouble focusing on it.
There it goes, it's boiling the water. Turn this off. Let's uh, pick this up. Too hot to touch. I'm just barely able to touch that. Looks like the paper's fine. And there you go. So it does work. Well, folks, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you'd like to see any more videos like this or have any suggestions, um, please uh, please give me a thumbs up and please feel free to ask me any questions. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.